summer as it's only the middle of August for heaven's sake um, but I'm afraid to say it's not looking that good for the next few weeks I'm going to be talking to Claire about that in just a moment there she is up in Scarborough posing beautiful it looks very, very lovely right. up Hi, there Claire. well done yeah just to prove she can hear us uh, now remember that talk of a heat wave though earlier this year we all got very exciting what happened to that We've all seen the headlines this morning. It is in every paper. And I have to say, it's probably uh, a nightmare for a lot of weather forecasters this morning because it's only early May. Although this story originates from the Met Office. The Met Office, one of the most respected bodies in the world, weather-wise, and they have these incredible supercomputers. Now, these computers are not just desktop size. They're like Doctor Who's TARDIS. And it's these computers which indicated that this summer could be warmer than average. Well, that's what she said, or at least that's what the reports were saying. But uh, things haven't quite gone to plan as they were back in May. Claire is in Scarborough for us this morning. Now, I know you said it wasn't that simple. The headlines made it look a little bit better than it might have been. But where did it all go wrong, Claire? Well, it didn't really go all wrong. It's just we've had a typical British summer. Now, I'm in Scarborough this morning. You can have a look. It's a beautiful morning here. Wouldn't it be lovely if every morning we woke up to gorgeous weather like this, took a stroll along the beach, had breakfast outside, anticipated perhaps lunch outside, then a barbecue in the evening, knowing for well the next day is going to be gorgeous well and the next day and the next day. Well, sadly, that didn't happen this summer. This summer, we were played with spells of rain and then we got used to some sunshine, some high temperatures, Temperatures high in June and also July. We had a stretch of about two weeks of good weather in July, but then sadly end of July, we had heavy rain and even tornadoes, they struck Birmingham. And then as we headed into um, August, things settled down a little bit, but only for certain parts of the country. In fact, Western areas have had a really good summer so far, particularly in August. We've had some lovely weather across Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northwest England, Wales and the West Country. Higher than average uh, sunshine amounts, higher than average temperatures and lower than average rainfall. But along the Eastern Strip here, they've been plagued by cloud. It's really been a very disappointing few weeks. Is it going to continue? Who knows? Well, people here are getting very twitchy because in June you can say, well, we've got July and we've got August weather, so we've still got a lot of the summer. In July, we're still an optimist saying, well, we've still got August, so perhaps the weather will settle down. But now it's coming to the end of August and the bank holiday weekend. The all important weather forecast, is it going to settle down? Are we going to get a little bit more summer? Well, let's have a look at the graphics and see what is happening. The, sadly, the weather is going to be fairly unsettled for the weekend across Scotland and Northern Ireland, um, perhaps Northern England, Northwest England, where it has been nice over the last few weeks, and northern parts of Wales. We're seeing strong winds, rain or showers. Further south across the Midlands, eastern England, central southern England, and down in the southwest as well, you should get some good weather uh, through Friday into Saturday. Although there's one caveat, rain could just clip the southern areas of England uh, during Saturday into Sunday. That means I think the best weather this weekend is likely to be in East Wales as well as the Midlands. Let's have a look at uh, Sunday into Monday. We can see, well, bank holiday Monday is probably the best day in the south, but sadly, more rain to come across uh, northern and northwestern areas and there should be some showers and it's going to feel more like autumn. But there are still a few days left until the kids go back to school. The kids go back to school on the 5th of September. So what's going to happen next week? Well, the problem next week is uh, we've got these extropical storms coming in. We're inheriting them uh, from the Caribbean. If it, they do clip the north of Scotland, then it's really going to affect our weather further south as well. However, if they do head further north, then they're very hard to forecast then the forecast is suggesting it's going to get warmer and drier for the whole of the country and that means a taste of summer before we really head into autumn during the middle weeks of September. So there is some good news on the horizon. Fingers crossed we will obviously keep you posted here at GMTV. Back to the studio. OK, all yep. right. We'll try and watch out for that. I bet it will get nice just the kids go back to school. It's so mean, isn't it? Yes, back to uh, school anyway.